I'm on the perfect grind. I'm on the come up, and you know you gotta give us that. And I'm headed for the top. Now we're I got on my hands up to the skies. I never give up. I got my hands up to the skies. I never give up. Hey, Tasteful Family, it's your girl Divine T, and thank you for tuning in to Divine Taste. The flavor of the week is Crip Arthur Stanley James. I'm here with the author, the Crip Arthur, Stanley James. How are you? Doing good. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Welcome to the show. So, let's talk about what you write. What books do you write or what genre do you write? Well, I consider my own genre mm -hmm. is certified gang tales. Mm -hmm. Gang tales is my genre, but if you really want to groom me in professionally, street fiction, urban fiction, street literature. How long have you been writing? Uh, professionally for about six years. And not professionally? Oh, oh uh, about since I was 11. Oh, okay. How many books have you written? Uh, I've written 20 so far, but nine published. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who does your publication? Well, I'm self-published, but I was uh, did it. when I first came out, mm -hmm. I did a joint venture deal with No Breaks, okay. uh, Terry Roden, based out of LA. So, big shout out to Terry Roden, put me in the game. Where are you located? Uh, Long Beach, North Long Beach. So, most of your uh, followers or your fans, where are they located? Are they mainly Long Beach or throughout LA? Uh, throughout LA, but majority of my fan base right now is like in a, a penitentiary. Penitentiaries and the LP, the juvenile camps. So. Okay. That's where the majority of my following from. What got you started on writing? What's the motivation behind you writing? I always, I always was a writer, always a little geek, you know. So I started off writing poetry and raps. And then in school, I used to have to write short stories. And then over time, it just, just stuck natural, you know. So. What made you go into the genre that you're in? You know, that's crazy. Like, like, since the genre I'm in, it's like just pretty much holding a mirror up, reflecting on our lives, you know? So that's always been natural. Like, but my first genre was Westerns. Like, that was like kind of the first stories I was writing. Westerns, so. Really? Yeah. Okay. But that's like the crazy thing about it. <laughs> <The> entire, <laughs> <complete> time. Yeah. <laughs> so, for your fans, if they want to purchase a book or they want to reach out, how do they get to you? Do you have. Social media handles? Yeah, uh, you can find me anywhere. Just Google my name up, Stanley James, the Crip Author. Uh, I got a personal website, Certified Gang Tales, which you can hit the link in my bio, the Instagram. But I'm everywhere across the board Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Goodreads. So. What's your Instagram um, handle? Author Stanley James, the second double I's. Okay. And it's the same for Facebook, Twitter, everything. I'm easy to find. So. Here's one of your books. You said your latest book? It's my latest. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about this book. Well, that's pretty much, it's about, if you know, like, cause when I write, write history, I try to throw in a little game, a little knowledge. People don't know that the the Cuban, like Fidel Castro, Castro mm -hmm. he had ties with John F. Kennedy and the U.S. mob, where right. they built up the casinos in Vegas. Uh, they built up the Hollywood Club in L.A. So, like, but that story is pretty much on the, uh, the sun. It was Fidel Castro who had the presidency, and he had he had a, a hitman, mm -hmm. a most famous hitman that know all the secrets that started like doing this whole presidency of Castro with the mob. Mm -hmm. And before it, like before he, everything went bad, he was gonna leak it, and he, they killed him. So like 20 years later, his son come up Escobar, which is named Escobar Santana. 20 years later, his son come up living a life in Miami, and then. Now he's gathering all the pieces together. He didn't know nothing about mm -hmm. his father, so he gathering all the pieces together and he's just coming back strong. You know? Killing everybody that had a uh, hand in hand with his death and his father's death. Okay. So when they purchase your items, you said that they're on Amazon? Yeah. And where else? Uh, Barnes and Noble, Goodreads. Right now I'm working a deal with Walmart and you know, Costco. I don't want to tell. How long does it normally take for you to actually write and publish and to actually have it out in stores? Uh, it depends, like, you know, each book is different, like, you know, because some people write on deadlines and timelines, you know, me, I do everything so published, I do it my way, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. like, it depends on how I really feel about the story and the books, you know, like, one story, it took me, like, my first book, I want to say it took me, like, six months okay. to just write it. And a whole another two months to edit and another month to get it published and everything. But for some books with S. Bar Ridge, like that's a full length book that I broke it down into a five part series. 
So, but that one, like, that one really, I've really been interested in the mob, the mafia and all that, you know what I'm kidding? But, so that one really took me about, like, like a month, really. Is there any other books that you're working on currently? Uh, no, I'm about to release my, my new, my other book, Bottom Bitch. I'm about to drop that sometime this year, but other than that, I'm just working on a short film I'm working on for my first book. Is there any advice you want to give inspiring authors out there of how to get started? What did you do to, to become self-published? Was it hard? Was it easy? Uh, it wasn't hard, but it wasn't easy, no. Like, because... I just transitioned to everything that I, like from the street, my street knowledge into the book game, like, and it's like universal with the rap, the uh, videos, anything entertainment is the same way with like, you know, working with the street. So, yeah. but I just tell everybody like, do it your way, research everything, mm -hmm. know what you're doing, and really connect with mentors. Like that was that's been a big part of my whole my whole uh, career, like. They see me trying to connect with people that I see try to get established. You know, like like the Jaquavis Coleman, the Shannon Holmes, the Terry Rodin. Those right. are people that I try to connect with because I can see myself walking down. They, you know, their 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 legacy. You know, whatever, right. whatever I can say. So just right. having mentors is a big part of the deal, and just staying optimistic. So, where do you see yourself as a publisher in five years? As an author in five years? As an author in five years, worldwide. Like everywhere. So you said that your books are in different prisons. Is it anywhere else besides California state prisons, or? Yeah, it's everywhere. Okay. Arkansas. I'm pretty got. I'm working on it international now. Uh, That's I'm everywhere. So tasteful family, you heard it here first. Crip author Stanley James the second. Yes. yes. <laughs> Stanley James the second. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Divine Taste. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Divine Taste. This week's flavor of the week is Stanley James, the Crip author. <laughs> the Crip author. <laughs> you got me over here. Until next week, thank you for tuning in.